Hi guys, it's Dean Doyle from Classic Magic. Um, it's snowing. Uh, as you know, snow can uh, can obviously change a couple of circumstances with your car. So, just wanted to run through a few little things that you need to check and to keep an eye on, uh, just to make sure that you you stay safe um, when you're out in the snow. One of the first things, obviously, is to protect the car. Um, a lot of people go through the process of just topping up coolant, topping it up, topping it up with water or whatever throughout the year. So it's really, really important that um, obviously when it starts to get cold, uh, obviously things freeze. Um, you do not want water inside your car starting to freeze and turn into ice because what it will do is expand, you can break your radiator uh, and it can actually start to create cracks and stuff within your cooling system. So the first tip is obviously to make sure that your coolant is topped up with a decent quality coolant and antifreeze. Okay? If you don't have any, pop up on site here, we'll top your coolant up for you free of charge with some good concentrate to make sure that it doesn't freeze. Okay? Another really good tip for you when you get up in the mornings, uh, don't be tempted just to stick your wipers on, trying to get rid of any snow or anything on there, because obviously what happens is the blades actually on your wiper arms will actually stick to the screen. Okay? Really good tip when you get up in the morning, just gently lift the wiper arms off of your screen and free them up, and then obviously put them back down again. If you don't have the benefit of a uh, central locking system, because a lot of older cars um, don't necessarily have that, a lot of very basic spec cars don't necessarily have that either, um, another thing you might want to consider is actually just to get something like WD-40, spray a little WD-40 actually into the lock and that will help it stop freezing up in the morning so when you stick your key in you should be able to turn it without damaging the lock mechanism or anything like that. Okay. Another tip for you, if you've got a rear wheel drive car, okay, which means that all the power from your vehicle goes to the back, um, then another good tip for you is they tend to be pretty poor when it comes to snow. So your, uh, your Mercedes, your BMWs and stuff like that tend to struggle a lot more, especially when you're going uphill. If you're in a situation when you're struggling to gain traction, then one really good tip as well is just to let a small amount of air out your tyres. You don't want to let all the air out of your tyres, uh, but as you lower the, the pressure within the tyre, it actually starts to spread out at the bottom and at the base, and that can help to actually give you more traction if you're trying to get up the hill. Just one tip as well, if you are lowering the tyre pressure, obviously remember that when it starts to warm back up again, the tyre pressure will need to be readjusted back to the manufacturer's recommended PSI. Even with modern braking systems, you still have to allow for the fact that obviously the roads are a lot slippier. So please remember to allow a longer stopping distance should you need to. Drive slower, be more cautious and keep your eyes and eyes open. Because even if you're driving totally and utterly safely compared to the environment, other people may not be. Another really good tip if you're trying to gain traction going up a hill and you're struggling to gain traction with the wheels is actually to try and get yourself into a higher gear. So if you're trying to go up a hill and maybe second, lift the revs of the engine, use your clutch a bit more and maybe try and get into third. It actually creates more torque in the engine which will actually give you more grip on the road as well. Come on, come on.